Today I'm going to be sharing my luxury bag collection, specifically my Gucci collection. Hello, 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 and welcome to my channel. My name is Siani J of Lux Mom Style, and I'm proof that you don't have to trade style for motherhood. I'm here to show you how to believe in your flyness. Just because you're a mom doesn't mean you need to lose your sense of style. We still got it. Come on, come along for the ride and let me show you how I believe in my flyness. Oh, if it's your first time here, welcome. And if you're coming back, hey girl, hey. I drop videos every Wednesday and again, I am just sharing with you how I still stay fly while juggling motherhood, full-time work and all of the above while still living my life and looking fly while doing it. Today, I'm going to be sharing my luxury bag collection, specifically my Gucci collection. I thought about doing a video with all of the bags, but then I said, you know what? No, I think I'm going to break them up by collection. And Gucci is by far one of my favorite luxury brands. Started off being LV and has quickly switched over to Gucci. They just have so much flair and they bring a lot of fun, colorful, prints, designs, shapes, and silhouettes. And I just love Gucci. I am a Gucci gang all the way. So the first bag that I am going to start with is one of the newest bags that I've purchased. This is the GG Jumbo print. If you've been following me for a little bit, you know I love this GG print. It is just so retro and 70s and just so fly. I have yet to wear this bag. I've been waiting for the right moment to wear it, but it is just such a beauty, such a beauty. And it is a crossbody, but it can also be worn as a shoulder bag. It's very spacious. This is not a what's in your bag, um, but it is very, very spacious. I can fit my phone in here. I can fit a ton of other essentials and not feel like I'm missing out or leaving anything. So I think it's the perfect, you know, small shoulder crossbody bag. Not a mini and not a super big bag, but just the right size. The next bag I'm going to show you is also with this GG print, but I love, 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 love. As soon as I saw this bag and this bamboo handle, I knew that she had to be mine. There is one that comes in a slightly larger size, but it's something about this mini that just stole my heart. It's super small. You can't fit much in it, but, um, that mini bag trend is really hot right now and I have hopped on it. So it actually, even though it's small, it fits a few things. So this is not a what's in my bag, like I said, but I'll still show you what fits in here. So you see, this is a card case. Can also fit my Invisalign container. And let's see if it can fit maybe. I don't think it's going to be able to fit my AirPods. <laughs> we'll see. I have my AirPod case. You think it'll be able to fit my, my keys? Let's see. Okay. So I got my keys and I think that is probably going to be all. Ooh, yeah, that's a tight fit. Maybe if I take off some things, let's see. Okay. So I did get all of the stuff in there. It is a tight fit. You can see there's a little bit of space in there, but she does fit just, I mean, just the essentials, not anything more. My phone, I will show you. So my phone will definitely not fit in here. Sheesh, my phone will definitely not fit in here at all, but it's okay. I generally am using my phone, so I'll just hold it in my hand or put it in my pocket or whatever uh, and not, worry about trying to fit it in my bag. So yes, this is the GG Jumbo Print. I cannot remember the name of the bag, but I'll definitely pop it up for you. But it does have this Diana 1969 handle that is a classic. And it also has the bamboo closure here as well. 
to kind of tie in with the handle. So yes, another cutie in my collection. This is not really a bag per se, but it is a toiletry. Well, it's a bag, toiletry bag. Not something that I can carry on my shoulders, but it is a bag that I definitely use on my travels. Um, I love the inside green print, very cute. And it has the signature small GGs and the GG on the zipper. Like I said, with Gucci, I love their bags because I feel like they just have so many creative bags and creative little designs and touches to things that I have not seen a lot of people in. So this is one of the bum bags that I did get pre-loved. You'll see it says common sense is not common. No, I did not write that on there. It came like that, um, but common sense ain't common. So this is a very true statement. Love that it has the signature stripe, but in blue and red rather than the green and red that is on the front, but it's still a very spacious bag. It definitely is great for, you know, every day can be worn on your waist or can be worn across your chest, a little more stylishly. Either way, it was a great pickup. I'm so glad that I grabbed it. Another bag that I really love from Gucci is this red and pink camera bag. This, I love a lot of pieces that came out of this line. I, something about pink and red just is so fly and so on point. I remember back in the day when I was younger, I thought red and pink was the worst color match that you could ever put together, but things have changed. Now I love this. I wish I would have gotten a lot of other things in this design. If you saw the card case I showed you earlier, it was in green and blue and I really wanted to have a bag in the green and blue. I thought that would have popped a lot, but they only made it in just blue just solid blue with gold. But if you look here, look at the GGs, the GGs are in gold and pink and red. It's just a very fun, use, unique design and definitely a bag that gets somewhere in my collection and is definitely one that I will use for years to come. Another fun bag from Gucci is the multicolor Gigi Marmont. This is the only Gigi Marmont that I have and I'm so glad that I was able to pick it up pre-loved in this multicolor. If you recall last summer, they came out with this multicolor print and it had so many fun designs in this collection. There were a lot of shoes that I liked and also some clothes, but only got this out of the collection. Kind of wish I would have been able to grab a wallet, but maybe I will find it on the pre-loved market. But anyway, this bag is definitely very, very spacious. One thing I will say is this chain is very heavy. So it's a nice quality chain, but um, if you wear it throughout the day, it can get pretty heavy. I wore it to the Lights On Fest. I will pop up a video. I think I did a What's In My Bag for this uh, on TikTok. So I'll definitely pop it up for you. So you can see it, but very cute, spacious bag. It has this um, clip closure oh, at the bottom that opens up and it's just all blue on the inside, on the trim, and then you have a light canvas. So it is a canvas bag with just some leather trim and silver hardware. I'm usually a gold girl, but this one works in silver. And yeah, maybe I'll find some other items from this collection. Pre-loved. So the next, the next two bags that I'm going to share are by far two of my faves and definitely are in heavy rotation. If you follow me at all um, on this channel or on social media, then you know these bags have got to their cost per wear for sure. Uh, they're so versatile, they are so easy, and even though they're pretty small, they do fit a lot in here, and the leather is really soft, um, so it definitely stretches over time, and now I am able to close them a little bit more. I definitely did a what's in your bag of these two bags, so you'll have to check out the video on my YouTube channel. I'll uh, share the link with you guys. <music> But yeah, these bags, 
two of my faves. Definitely two of my faves. I really want to grab the red and then there's also a blue, kind of like a, a baby blue. And there's also like a yellow, black, so black and yellow, it makes me think black and yellow, black and yellow, but any a black, black and yellow stripe, which is kind of fun too. So they have a lot of fun uh, designs in this Gigi Marmot bucket bag that you can find pre-loved for a really good price. I mean, some of them are not necessarily half of, maybe like 30% off of retail. And the price on these bags went up. So I found, I bought this one at a cheaper price than this one, because this was my first of the two that I, no, the white was the first of the two that I bought actually. So this one I got cheaper than this one, because the price uh, went up, but this bag is gonna get so much wear. And like I said, I think I have worn it where I have definitely got <laughs> my uh, money's worth for sure. So the Gigi Marmot bucket bag, two of my faves. Another bag that I just love is this Raja tote. I spotted someone on Instagram that I follow that had it. She had it in this exact color and I quickly searched the internet to find it. I love this brown suede. I don't have anything in this color and I also love the signature green and red stripe that you have here as well as the Raja or the lion emblem with these beautiful rhinestones. It's just such a great bag. On the back, you will see it just has the signature Gucci stripe down the back. And it is, like I said, suede and patent leather mix. Just a really good tote. I don't carry many totes, but this one is a winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. And I think I have another bag inside. This I definitely got pre-loved. It was something about this diamond and this Gigi that was just so unique to me. I love unique pieces, again, that I don't see a lot of people in. So when I saw this on a pre-loved site, I knew that it had to be part of my collection. Can't really call it a wristlet because these cannot go on your wrist. This is just here for design. So I guess it's a clutch. That's how I've carried it as a clutch, or it also could work really good inside of a larger bag, such as how I had it inside of the Raja tote. But yeah, just all red with the Gigi and the diamond print. Another good pickup. Another one of my faves is this bag that is part of the Gucci and Balenciaga Hacker Project. It is a spin on the Balenciaga City Bag, but they have named it the Gucci Hacker Project Neo Classic Bag. It has the small GG print, but also has this little mirror that is definitely synonymous with the City Bag. And there is a longer strap that comes with it, but I'm not showing it here. I also have a really nice bandeau that is from the Hacker Project as well that I tie along the top. That just adds an extra little pop to it. So I'll show you that in the picture. But yeah, such a great bag to have. It fits so much. It's definitely a great bag that could work for travel, that could work for, I don't know, it can be definitely be dressed up or down. You can wear this uh, to a business meeting or you can wear it out with some jeans to hang out with the girls or on a date night. So very versatile, one of a kind bag. I was so glad that I was able to get my hands on it because it is definitely um, one of a one of a kind piece. Last and most definitely not least is this trunk from the Gucci 100 collection. They made 100 years and this is one of the bags they used to celebrate it. It has a really fun checkered print on here as well as the signature Gucci stripe and I just love this handle. Isn't this handle just the best? I did an unboxing of this bag, so you'll have to check that one out if you haven't already, but definitely a fave and just a collector's item that I'm so glad that I was able to get my hands on. I found this in store, and as soon as I saw her, I knew she had to come home with me. Oh, just such a beautiful bag. I have worn her once out um, and she is pretty heavy, but she's just a statement piece. She's one of those things that you step out and you just feel good and know you look good rocking it. Yeah, this is her. 
this is her, this is her. Isn't she lovely? Ooh, yes, she's lovely. Okay, so this bag is also very similar. I think it comes from that same design where it has some kind of paint on it and it has the polka dots. I love unique, fun pieces that I feel like will, you know, be classics along the way. And I love this um, Gucci bait hook. This is like one of the, the uh, design elements that they've had in a lot of their latest, or maybe a season and go design. <laughs> this bag does fit my phone. I have an iPhone uh, 12 Pro Max. It fits in there just fine. It will probably also fit a small card case. And I don't know, look, maybe I'll put some gum in there and maybe some hand sanitizer will go. And I think I can probably get like a lip gloss in there. And what else? Okay, let's see if I can get a card case in there with all that other stuff. Yep, and I could probably take my key off of the key ring and put it in there. I don't think anything else would fit, but yeah. So this is a cute little crossbody. I probably worn her maybe one time. I just don't find myself reaching for her, but she's so cute. So it's one of those pieces where it's just like, you gotta have her. She's really adorable, um, but you have to wear her with the right outfit. Probably something that is very neutral since this bag is so busy, you don't want um, the outfit to distract from the bag. So only worn it one time, but very cute bag. So along with um, some of the bags, I definitely have grabbed a couple Gucci wallets that I absolutely love and a couple card cases. So let me share those with you. The first wallet that I'm going to share, I think this may have been the first Gucci wallet that I purchased. It is very similar to the Gigi Marmont camera bag. I love this red and pink. It instantly caught my eye as soon as I saw it and I had to grab it. So yes, nice supple leather and um, it's one of my faves. Another item that I picked up from the, the Gucci Balenciaga Hacker Project was this card case. You'll see it has the small GG on it and it has the Balenciaga written on the front as well. And the back is just a uh, solid GG in brown. Another really cute piece. And here is another wallet that I got that goes with the little phone purse or little small purse that I just showed you. Let's get this. So it has the really fun polka dot print on the front and then it has this checkered print on the back and then the inside is just a brown, very spacious. It's really, it's basically the same design as um, this one, uh, just in a little slightly different leather. And you'll see they're about the same size. It's called the, the Gucci card case. That's what they call it, even though it fits coins and bills. So more than just cards. And I do have one other piece. I do have one other piece that I want to share. One of the other items I got from the Hacker Project is this Balenciaga and Gucci card case as well. It has a spot in here for coins and also has a spot here for your cards at the top and also some bills. You'll notice that this one is slightly smaller than these two in uh, dimension. So if I put it in the front and put it side by side, you'll see that it is slightly smaller, but it's still really spacious. I feel like it fits just as much. It's just a little more, it's a little shorter, but yeah, it's a really cute piece. I'm so glad that I was able to get something with the B. I got mostly items from Gucci. I didn't get any of the Balenciaga more, um, prominent pieces from the collection. Just, I went with all Gucci. So I got, I think maybe two bandeaus, a card case, this wallet, and then that hacker project bag. So I really 
one of the Kelly. Oh, so fly. But I missed it when it was regular price and there was no way that I'm paying the resale prices for that. It's just, just ridiculous. It's like four times the original price. So it's one of those bags that is a statement piece that would be so great to have in any collection, but I just haven't seen it where it's been worth the price that they're, they're trying to um, resell it for. So yes. Those are all of the items in my Gucci collection as far as bags and wallets. <laughs> do have some shoes. I have a quite a couple, a few pair of, uh, of shoes and sandals and boots from Gucci. Like I said, I'm Gucci gang. I love their items. I'm also very excited about two pieces that I picked up from the Adidas um, and Gucci collaboration. That's another thing. Gucci is always having some great collaboration. So really excited about that. I kind of are kind of hoping that I was going to wait to record this video until I got my bag because my essay said that it was on the way so I'll still show you here's the bag that I'm waiting on from the Adidas Gucci collection collab and here are the shoes that I'm waiting on so I'm really excited about both of those pieces I just grabbed two items because I just felt like those are the ones that popped for me some of the items were a little bit too flashy like too emblemy like too much Gucci Gucci uh, too much Adidas Adidas and I just it wasn't for me that some of the clothes were actually kind of cool, but the based on the price point, I just didn't feel like it was worth it. Like I did want this cute parka jacket here that is super dope. Um, and then this item I like too. So maybe, I don't know, they're still available on the website. We'll see if I feel like breaking down and getting them. So did you guys get anything from the Adidas Gucci collab? Do you see anything that you like? If so, let me know. Also, let me know if you want me to share the rest of my collection. I have some Louis Vuitton. I have a couple uh, YSL bags. I also have some Fendi. I have one Dior bag and quite a few Louis Vuitton, like my cherry and luxury bags. But I have since <laughs> branched out and gotten a lot of other luxury bags. But again, I'd say the two most prominent designers in my collection are most likely going to be Gucci and Louis Vuitton. So let me know if you want to see that. I'll probably do another Louis Vuitton video all on its own. And then I would just mix my YSL, my Fendi, the Dior and the Prada, because I just have a couple of bags from those, even from Loewe. I have a very nice Loewe, uh, small puzzle bag. Oh, she's so cute. That just reminds me I need to wear her. But anyway, how I digress, let me know if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, put a comment down below and let me know what bags you have or what bags you are thinking about getting or which ones are your fave that I showed today. Also, let me know what other videos you want to see from me. I do try and post videos every Wednesday, so don't hesitate to subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell so you get notifications and never miss my videos. I am very, very active on social media, on Instagram and TikTok. So definitely don't miss out and catch up on my daily shenanigans where I'm just showing how I'm on a living spree, living my life, travel, uh, lifestyle, and tons of fashion. I show you how I am a fabulous, stylish mama who this. believes in her flyness and has not trade style for motherhood. So thank you all for watching me today. Again, please give me a thumbs up if you like this video and I'll see you next time. Bye.